It has finally launched Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the second in three games which are remaking or let's call it reimagining or perhaps even sequelizing the Final Fantasy VII game that was released back in the 90s. Uh, played through the first episode and there was some weird shit going on. I'm not going to have much time to talk during this though, so once I get going we got a lot of cutscenes to get through. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai, and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought I another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one side. You're right. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster, sir. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. Press for takeoff. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Quick, get the camera off him. We are exfilling via Hilo now! Move it! We're taking off! What? Hey! Turn that off! 
Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Oh my god, to try to unpack what I just saw, I have no freaking idea what's going on, but I'm going to throw some speculation at the wall here. It's possible that what we were seeing with all of these, um, okay, so, Zack is alive, and he brought Cloud all the way to the gates of Midgar. Now, of course, Zack died in the original game trying to reach Midgar, died just outside of it, shot to death by a bunch of Shinra goons. In this, he's not only alive, but he's brought Cloud to the gates. Something isn't lining up, though, because the timeline is wrong, for one. He should have arrived here a few weeks earlier. So he's late. He has Cloud with him, despite the fact that Cloud was... I mean, we didn't see Cloud's body, and the people are saying, like, oh, they're, they're still fighting a soldier wearing a, using a buster sword, so... Cloud maybe had survived that, but everyone's dead. Like, you saw them, they're being carried away into these helicopters, so it's like... All sorts of stuff is wrong here. So I can speculate maybe that perhaps all of the dead bodies that we saw, or maybe plants, like they're not... Like Shinra planted them there to make it look like, yeah, we killed Avalanche. It's also possible that this is some sort of a multiverse thing, which is something that was suspected from the original... Final Fantasy VII Remake that we're dealing with sort of like an alternate timeline that's influenced by the Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. So Aerith is dead now. That's very different because Aerith died much later in the story. Zack and her never reunited at all. 
he was dead before she was. He died outside the gates of Midgar, but now, okay, Aerith dies here. So it's either that's not really Aerith. We're looking at some sort of alternate timeline thing. Perhaps there's multiple permutations going on and all of these different timelines that we're seeing snippets of are different attempts by Sephiroth to conquer the world kind of thing. And what we just saw was just one of them and not necessarily even the version of the story that we're playing through now. So it's a little bit of a cop out because I thought like, oh, Zack is alive. Zack's alive. Holy shit. How's that going to affect the story? Maybe it won't because <laughs> maybe we just saw Zack being alive in a different permutation that we are not going to get another view into. It's a little bit cheap, but it's possible. <laughs> anyway, it's the end of the first episode. I'm going to go play the second.